developments, continue watching Crypto Talk by Calcine. Move to Earn projects are one of the hottest trends in the crypto industry at the moment, with innovation driving rapid growth. The basic premise of Move to Earn projects is to encourage a more active lifestyle and reward participants with cryptocurrency and digital assets for their physical movements. In this video, I'll take you through some of the highest potential projects. But just before I do, keep in mind that crypto is a volatile asset class, so it's important that you conduct your own research. Let's start with Steppen. Steppen is one of the most discussed Move to Earn projects and the largest by market cap in the Move to Earn space. It rewards users who follow a healthy lifestyle. Steppen uses a GPS solution to track users' movements, effectively solving the issue of proof of movement. Steppen's GST token is used as an in-game currency earned by doing physical activities like running, jogging or walking. Its other token, GMT, is exclusively used for governance. GMT's price was down by 8.36% to 87.37 US cents on the morning of June 29. Its one day volume fell 20.93% to 313.7 million US dollars, and its market cap is 524.2 million dollars. GMT returned 12.15% in gains over the past seven days. Genopets. Genopets is another popular free to play and move to earn NFT game developed on the Solana blockchain. It's a pet raising game and rewards users for caring for their spirit animals. The pets grow as users nurture them and Gene tracks users' movements as part of the P2E economics to reward them. Gene is the governance and staking token of Geno Pets and can be used to create in-game non-fungible tokens. The Gene token was priced at $8.71 on the morning of June 29, down by 9.62%. Its one-day volume rose by 17.55% to $1.63 million, but the token has lost 13.08% in the past seven days. And lastly, there's Dot Moves. Dot Moves is a peer-to-peer -peer sports competition platform. It uses an artificial intelligence algorithm to give scores for tricks and movements of the players who upload skill videos. Users can monetize the videos by investing in Move tokens, and the platform has gained traction on social media in light of the FIFA World Cup just around the corner, along with the FIBA World Cup for basketball. The Move token dipped by 7.62% to 1.035 cents on the morning of June 29, while its one-day trading volume ticked up 1.3% to 1.27 million US dollars. Its price declined, however, by 7.75% over the last seven days. So whilst Move to Earn projects have gained significant traction lately, such projects are very much in their infancy and have yet to gain widespread adoption, which means they remain at the whims of the crypto market volatility. Do you think the move to earn space has potential? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and share the video. For more content, you can subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Tune in to get the latest information. Whether it's about market movements or the currency graph. Sectoral coverage or industry news. We cover it all on our news segments. Be on top of the latest news with Calkine TV. Welcome to the Expert Talks by Calkine TV. I'm Sage and today's guest is Mr. Joe Rowitz, the founder, CEO and architect of the award-winning blockchain business called Dragon Chain known as America's blockchain and originally created at the Walt Disney Company back in 2014, Dragon Chain is a hybrid blockchain platform focused on solving business problems at an enterprise scale. So Dragon Chain holds multiple cornerstone patents on blockchain technology ranging from scalability, interoperability and enterprise process orchestration and we'll find out more about these today and much more so keep watching. Very excited to bring you live today, Mr. Joe Rowitz, founder and CEO of Dragon Chain. Welcome to the show, Joe. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Great to have your company today, and I'm sure the viewers are keen to hear your insights. So let's get started. 
incorporated back in 2014, Joe. That is very early on in the history of crypto. Can you share the inspiration behind your brand, please? Ah, uh, yes. Um, well, I, I've, I'm a longtime architect, and uh, I had gotten into blockchain in 2010, and I, I was focused quite a bit on uh, the scalability and uh, ma making the technology work for a, a normal business. And uh, when Disney brought me in, uh, we started building in 2014. And because I think there might be, <laughs> we might need a little more time before some of it rolls out, but there are some intensely important capabilities that can be added to traditional gaming uh, platforms that I, I, I know are coming, but it might be another, um, another season before we get to that. So we'll see. Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing your valuable insights. Really found that very informative and interesting. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And viewers, if you've just joined us, we just had a very interesting discussion with Dragon Chain CEO and founder, Mr. Joe Rowitz. Please watch the full interview at Calkine Media's YouTube channel. And keep watching Calkine for more of these expert talks and live market updates. And as we say, stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine. Tune in to get the latest information. Whether it's about market movements or the currency graph. Sectoral coverage or industry news. We cover it all on our news segments. Be on top of the latest news with Calkine TV. The UK has been witnessing record high inflation levels lately, which has increased the operational costs for companies. Tourism and recreation firms witnessed the greatest cost inflation for the second month in a row. Overall, consumer demand is being dampened due to the rising inflationary pressure, making it difficult for businesses to forward the increased costs to consumers. The margins of service providers have been squeezed more tightly as compared to manufacturers. And for this sector, the difference between price and input costs is the highest, representing the demand for goods being greater than the demand for services. So in light of this, let's take a closer look at some manufacturing stocks that UK investors can keep an eye on during this period. The first one is GSK. The FTSE 100 company has provided its shareholders with a return of 19% over the past year, while its year-to-day return stands at 5%. GSK's current market cap is £86.3 billion. Anglo-American The FTSE 100 company has provided its shareholders with a return of 23% over the past year, and its year-to-day return stands at 11%. AAL's current market cap sits at 44.8 billion pounds. Another one to look at is Imperial Brands. The FTSE 100 company has provided shareholders with a return of 15% over the past one year and its year-to-day return stands at 12%. IMB's current market cap sits at 17.2 billion pounds. Now they're up to speed, hit that bell icon to stay updated and boost your financial IQ. I'm Holly Shields for Calcine Media. Tune in to get the latest information. Whether it's about market movements or the currency graph. Sectoral coverage or industry news. We cover it all on our news segments. Be on top of the latest news with Calkine TV. Britain's energy watchdog Ofgem has proposed a new plan to improve the financial health of the operating energy suppliers. Last year, over 30 energy suppliers in the UK stopped their operations due to a sharp rise in wholesale energy prices, which triggered widespread losses. The new move is expected to save a number of energy companies from going bust and protect consumer credit balance if a certain company does fail. It would also prevent energy suppliers from charging high direct debit payments and allow firms to have sufficient control over key assets. The measures announced 
are intended to improve the financial health of energy suppliers to overcome the sharp surge in wholesale energy prices amidst record high inflation, the Ukraine crisis and also the cost of living crisis. Ofgem raised the energy price cap by 54% in April to £1,971 per year. Last month, it stated there will be a further hike by £800 to about £2,800 in October, which might take the inflation above 11% in the final quarter of the year. These announcements have the potential to impact plenty of suppliers, but let's focus on three of them for now, beginning with Centrica. Shares of Centrica, an international energy services and solutions company, were up by about 0.47% on June 20, trading at GBX 77.8. The company holds a market capitalisation of £4.57 billion as of 20th of June. The performance of the FTSE 250 index constituent has appreciated over the past year, with a one-year return as of 20th of June standing at 52.47%. Drax Group the shares of the power generation company Drax Group were up by 3.24% on the 20th of June 2022 and were trading at GBX 621.5. The company holds a market capitalisation of £2.41 billion as of the 20th of June. The performance of the FTSE 250 index constituent has appreciated over the past year with a one year return as of the 20th of June standing at 44.53%. And lastly, SSE PLC. The shares of electricity network company SSE were up by 1.1% on the 20th of June 2022 and were trading at GBX 1605. The company holds a market cap of £16.94 billion as of June 20. And the performance of the FTSE 100 index constituent has appreciated over the past year with a one year return as of June 20 standing at 5.11%. So what are your thoughts on the new energy regulation plans in Britain? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and share the video. For more content, subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon. Tune in to get the latest information. Whether it's about market movements or the currency graph. Sectoral coverage or industry news. We cover it all on our news segments. Be on top of the latest news with Calpine TV. Crypto talk by Calpine. The crypto market has been red hot given the Bitcoin rally since the past year. And now the most famous cryptocurrency has got competitors. Dogecoin and Ethereum. If the crypto market excites you, tune in with me, Sage, to know the latest developments about the existing digital currencies and the new ones that are joining the race. I'll help you understand the opportunities and the risks the crypto market has in store for you. For all the digital currency related developments, continue watching Crypto Talk by Calcine. UK house prices have hit a record high level in June, but they're expected to decline over the coming months amid the rising interest rates and the spiralling cost of living crisis. So as the UK housing market cools down, investors can keep an eye on real estate stocks offering good returns. Let's take a look at three. The first one is BMO Commercial Property Trust. On a year-to-date basis, the FTSE 250 listed company has given its shareholders a return of over 11% while its one-year return stands at around 32%. The market cap of BMO stands at £841 million. Another stock is AEW UK REIT. On a year-to-date basis, the company has given its shareholders a return of 5.4%, while its one-year return stands at 26%. The current market cap of AEW UK stands at £187 million. And then there is Supermarket Income REIT. On a year-to-date basis, the company has given its shareholders a return of 5.9%, while its one-year return stands at 4.86. The current market cap of Supermarket Income is £1.6 billion. Now that you're up to speed, hit that bell icon to stay updated and boost your financial IQ. I'm Holly Shields for Calcay Media.
Tune in to get the latest information. Whether it's about market movements or the currency graph. Sectoral coverage or industry news. We cover it all on our news segments. Be on top of the latest news with Calpine TV. Buy now, pay later, or BNPL for short. Companies are on the brink as bad debts amid the rising interest rates are causing havoc for the sector. On Monday, Reserve Bank of Australia Governor Philip Lowe said it is a challenging time in the global economy. Most countries, including the United States and Australia, have been experiencing the highest rates of inflation for decades. The tragic events in Ukraine have led to sharp increases in food and energy prices. And moreover, globally interest rates are rising from the record lows during the coronavirus pandemic stimulus activity. And lo and behold, inflation is no longer transitory. Lowe also predicted that interest rates would increase by no more than 50 basis points in July. Many industries are facing the brunt, but one industry in the doldrums is the buy now, pay later, or BNPL sector. It is experiencing a perfect storm of escalating interest rates, bad debts, a situated market and impending regulation. The buy now and pay later option gained traction quickly in the economy due to cheap borrowing costs and high consumer demand. As millennials and members of Generation Z opted for low interest payment plans, the sector expanded exponentially. And although BNPL has been fantastic for many merchants, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, market analysts believe the sector's heyday is past. Let's look at what problems are on the horizon for BNPL companies. Apparently, two major concerns confront BNPL lenders. Consumers would find inflation too severe to bear leading them to cut back on purchases of goods and services, resulting in fewer lending chances for BNPL companies. And secondly, it can become more difficult to finance loans if interest rates keep rising as Australia's central bank and the central banking system of the United States of America have indicated. Afterpay reported a loss after tax of $159.4 million for the year ended 30th June 2021, compared to the loss after tax of just $22.9 million in 2020. Zips reported loss before tax stands at $724 million compared to $20.6 million in the year period. Experts have suggested that bad debts were rising due to the strain on household budgets. Zipco was trading at $0.47, cents, down by 10.48%. Sizzle was trading at 26 cents, down by 7.02%. And Hum Group was trading at 50 cents, down by 3.81%. This is current on June 22nd, 2022. In the current market scenario, it'll be interesting to see how these stocks combat the headwinds they might face with rising interest rates. Thank you for joining us on the report. If you do like the information, let us know by liking, sharing, commenting on the video below, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon, you'll be notified every time Calkine releases a new video. But for more articles, head to the website calkinemedia.com. My name's Sage for Calkine Media. Crypto talk by Kalkine. The crypto market has been red hot given the Bitcoin rally since the past year. And now the most famous cryptocurrency has got competitors, Dogecoin and Ethereum. If the crypto market excites you, tune in with me, Sage, to know the latest developments about the existing digital currencies and the new ones that are joining the race. I'll help you understand the opportunities and the risks the crypto market has in store for you. For all the digital currency related developments, continue watching Crypto Talk by Kalkine. Digital clothing is projected to be a $50 billion industry by 2026 and Meta is gearing up to be a major player already. The tech giant has just launched the Meta Avatars Store, a design and clothing store for the virtual avatars in the metaverse. Zuckerberg made the appearance on Instagram Live to make the announcement alongside Instagram's Vice President of Fashion Partnerships, Eva Chen. According to TechCrunch, the stores will soon be opening in different markets in the UK, Canada, Mexico and Thailand, as well as other countries. They'll feature digital designs created by luxury brands like Belgencia, 
Prada and Tom Brown. And they'll also be available for Meta's avatars on Facebook, Instagram and Messenger. The pricing has not yet been revealed, although free clothing for digital avatars will continue to remain available for Metaverse users. Digital wearables have taken the fashion world by storm, with major and independent designers coming out with their own reality-defying products. The concept is popular for being a sustainable solution to fast fashion, reducing time to market and offering endless possibilities with creativity. Although the tech is not fully there yet. Since clothes are custom fitted to a client's photo, the process of digitally dressing can actually take a few hours, and considering the current limitations of AI and 3D modeling software. What's more, these items on offer at the moment can get pretty expensive, and some consumers still aren't willing to pay what they would for physical clothing. Would you be willing to spend $40 on a digital t-shirt? Let us know in the comments and hit that bell icon to stay updated. I'm Holly Shields for Metaverse. Tune in to get the latest information. Whether it's about market movements or the currency graph. Sectoral coverage or industry news. We cover it all on our news segments. Be on top of the latest news with Calpine TV. Millions wiped off Trevor Lawrence's crypto portfolio. What went wrong? Are cryptocurrencies the biggest wealth creators in the contemporary world? There might still be a lot of crypto enthusiasts that might say yes. And these backers of digital currency are probably the ones who bought their assets at low prices and liquidated them to book profit at an opportune time. But for many, cryptos might also have been a huge wealth destroyer. The latest in the list of crypto backers that have lost substantial amounts of money in the wake of the ongoing meltdown is NFL star Trevor Lawrence. Let's explore in this video. Please subscribe to the channel. My name's Sage for Calkine Media. So what's the buzz about Trevor Lawrence's crypto investments? The cryptocurrency investment by Trevor Lawrence, a top NFL draft pick player of the year had made headlines in early May 2021 and according to reports when quarterback Lawrence signed a contract with Jacksonville Jaguars last year his entire signing bonus was parked in crypto assets. He was said to have joined forces with an exchange Blockfolio that converted the bonus into assets including Bitcoin, Ether and Solana. Reportedly, bonus money worth 24 million US dollars was converted into cryptos. Before him, a few other NFL players like Sean Culkin were also reported to have chosen to get paid in Bitcoin or other cryptos. Trevor Lawrence's crypto losses. It is easily understandable that any investment in Bitcoin in May last year may have yielded massive losses looking at Bitcoin's current price. As per reports, Lawrence's crypto portfolio is down more than 60%. Millions of dollars have been wiped out in a matter of a year, which has become the talk of the town. And since Lawrence's investment using the Blockfolio platform made big news, the losses reported by analysts are also hitting the headlines. There is, however, no official statement yet from Lawrence. The sum of money that was converted into cryptos last year is also just an estimate. Lessons for crypto fans. Crypto prices can swing in any direction. Last year, all three cryptos that were reported to have made Lawrence's portfolio grow in value. Solana was one of the best performing among thousands of assets in the cryptoverse, for example, last year. But this year has been fraught with extreme negative forces, which have resulted in heavy losses. Bitcoin, Ethereum and Solana have all lost at least half of their value since the beginning of 2022. And the crypto lesson here is that enthusiasts that liquidate their assets at the opportune time can emerge unscathed. So how the hold on for dear life or hodl sentiment will survive in the longer horizon is a wait and watch game. The bottom line.
NFL quarterback Trevor Lawrence's reported crypto losses might add to the fears that are already prevailing in the crypto market. And that said, Bitcoin has currently stabilized at close to 20,000 US dollars after having dropped to under 18,000 US dollars just a few days back. Thank you for joining us on this report and if you do like the information please let us know by liking, sharing, commenting on the video below, subscribe to the channel, press that bell icon, you'll be notified of the most recent videos from Calkine. However, for more articles like this do head to the website, it's calkinemedia.com. This is Sage for Calkine Media. Crypto talk by Kalkine. The crypto market has been red hot given the Bitcoin rally since the past year. And now the most famous cryptocurrency has got competitors, Dogecoin and Ethereum. If the crypto market excites you, tune in with me, Sage, to know the latest developments about the existing digital currencies and the new ones that are joining the race. I'll help you understand the opportunities and the risks the crypto market has in store for you. For all the digital currency related developments, continue watching Crypto Talk by Kalkine. Tune in to get the latest information. Whether it's about market movements or the currency graph. Sectoral coverage or industry news. We cover it all on our news segments. Be on top of the latest news with Calkine TV. Shopify versus Amazon. Which tech stock is the better buy amid the sell-off? E-commerce stocks like Shopify and Amazon flourished during the worst spell of COVID-19 as people worldwide switched to a digital lifestyle. But as the pandemic restrictions relax, consumers are slowly returning to stepping out for shopping as more physical stores and malls open up. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm Sage for Kalkai Media. As a result, both Shopify and Amazon seem to be having a very similar experience, being a slowdown in e-commerce activities and significant stock price declines amid a prolonged tech stock sell-off. Is one of them still a better option to explore than the other amid the ongoing sell-off? Let's find out in this video. Shopify and Amazon's financial performance in the quarter one financial year 2022. As Shopify and Amazon vary in market size, their financial numbers are also reflecting notable differences. However, one can consider year-over-year -year changes to analyze which one did well in the first quarter of financial year 2022. Shopify posted 1.2 billion US dollars in total revenue in the first three months of financial year 2022, being up by 22% from the first quarter of 2021. The Canadian company reported a net loss of US $1.47 billion in the last quarter and significantly lower than a profit of 1.3 billion US dollars in the previous year's quarter. And meanwhile, Amazon recorded a 7% increase in its net sales to reach 116.4 billion US dollars in the first quarter of financial year 2022, compared to the same quarter a year ago. This US headquartered e-commerce giant also posted a net loss of US $3.84 billion in the latest quarter, down from a profit of $8.1 billion US dollars in the first quarter of 2021. Will the adoption of AR technology be the decider? Amazon comparatively has been slow to adopt AR or augmented reality as part of its e-commerce strategy. But in June 2022, they launched a new virtual shopping experience utilizing AR where users can virtually try on shoes before they buy them. Asian e-commerce giants you may have heard of, such as Alibaba and Shopee, have already been using these types of experiences in their platforms through augmented reality protocols where shoppers can try on items in virtual change rooms. Fashion has embraced the online shopping experience for the last 10 years, with websites of horticulture brands such as Burberry being an immersive experience. Now the metaverse is a new domain that fashion is embracing in the extended reality sphere, with even Fashion Weeks this year having their first metaverse season, including shows, parties and shopping. Shopify. 
is embracing. Augmented reality shopping tools through Nextech AR's product, Artitize 3D. And this is a one-stop shop AR feature, which enables users to automate the production of 3D model creation at low costs. Brands already enjoying this experience on Shopify include Spike Ball, Pure Cycles, Master and Dynamic, and even more. Leaders in AR development, Niantic Studios, who developed the popular Pokemon Go game, say that AR adoption in e-commerce is a future trend that will be gaining momentum with time and will lead to the mass adoption of AR technology. Stock performances on Shopify and Amazon. Shopify's stock fell by nearly 77% in 12 months, while Amazon's stock plummeted by over 39% in a year. Shop stock was up by almost 8% from a 52-week low of Canadian $386.29 recorded on June the 14th. On the other hand, AMZN stock rose by approximately 5% from its 52-week low of US $101.26 recorded on the 24th of May. According to Refinitiv Data, the Relative Strength Index, or RSI, for SHOP was about 43.03 on June 20th, while for AMZN, it was 40.48, above the oversold level of 30. Bottom line, some market experts believe that though Shopify appears to be more volatile than Amazon at the moment when comparing their stock performance, Shopify's smaller market size could hold significant return potential with evolution in consumers' shopping habits, supported by its growing e-commerce infrastructure. It's also worth noting that these tech giants are still expanding their e-commerce footprints. Also, despite the ongoing market scenario, online stores are gaining popularity and e-commerce players are likely to see massive growth over the years, especially as technology advances. Thanks for joining us on this report. If you like the information, do let us know by liking, sharing, commenting on the video below, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon. You'll be notified every time Calkine releases a new video. But for more articles, we update our website regularly. It's calkinemedia.com. My name's Sage for Calkine Media. Crypto talk by Kalkine. The crypto market has been red hot given the Bitcoin rally since the past year. And now the most famous cryptocurrency has got competitors, Dogecoin and Ethereum. If the crypto market excites you, tune in with me, Sage, to know the latest developments about the existing digital currencies and the new ones that are joining the race. I'll help you understand the opportunities and the risks the crypto market has in store for you. For all the digital currency related developments, continue watching Crypto Talk by Kalkine. Australia has been in the midst of a housing crisis for some time, but interestingly, the form of the crisis might be different from what you perceive. According to PropTrack's latest buy or rent report, buying a property looks more feasible than renting for nearly a third of Australian homes. With that said, the struggles of purchasing a home, especially in close proximity to a capital city, is increasingly difficult due to inflation, mortgage rates and an array of taxes. Mortgage rates have shot up by 75 basis points in the current year and rates are expected to increase further still. However, according to PropTrack's latest buy or rent report, 27% of homes in Australia are more cost effective to buy than rent over the next 10 years based on current prices. The report extensively compares the financial costs of both options and identifies the areas where it is cheaper to buy and where it is cheaper to rent across the country. For instance, as the report highlights, more than 50% of homes in Queensland, Western Australia, Brisbane and the Northern Territory are actually cheaper to buy than rent. But Sydney's case is rather different. In Sydney, renting a house is far more affordable than actually buying one. In fact, for the vast majority of New South Wales and also Victoria, only 10% of properties are cheaper to repay via mortgage compared to renting over the course of 10 years. As the rental pressure and high mortgage rates continue, the country is grappling with a rising inflation rate and plummeting vacancy rates. It will be interesting to see how the property market shapes up under the newly elected government and its policies.
So are you more inclined to rent or buy? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and share the video. You can also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to stay across the latest content. Crypto talk by Kalkine. The crypto market has been red hot given the Bitcoin rally since the past year. And now the most famous cryptocurrency has got competitors, Dogecoin and Ethereum. If the crypto market excites you, tune in with me, Sage, to know the latest developments about the existing digital currencies and the new ones that are joining the race. I'll help you understand the opportunities and the risks the crypto market has in store for you. For all the digital currency related developments, Continue watching Crypto Talk by Kalkine.